Ladies and gentlemen, making his way to the ring, Alex Castle! And his opponent, Dynamite, Danny Cannon! And welcome back once again to another episode of Dark Horse Championship Wrestling, DCW TV, and BC Steel. I am tired just watching Dynamite Danny Cannon make his way to the ring. Let me tell you something. This guy is full of energy. You know, uh, I don't know if I'm dating myself, and if I am, feel free to tell me, but do you know those wind-up toys you just wind up and you let it go, and it goes and goes and goes, and you quite, can't quite figure out how it works? Yes, sir. Well, that is that is the energy that Dynamite Danny Cannon provides. Uh, he's just a real, real burst of energy. Uh, Midwest competitor. And they have actually... Uh, they do have quite a rivalry. Uh, they're bringing that here to DCW. Now, obviously, Alex Castle does have the size advantage, but Dynamite Danny Cannon not only has the speed advantage, but he's, to steal a phrase, quicker than a hiccup. Absolutely, and off the ropes. Oh! And a standing... And, and if you're watching this at home, don't go anywhere. You need to have your eyes on this. Not only could it end at any time, but you might you might miss something huge. I mean, you'd never, well, you don't want to. Oh! Oh! Speaking of missing something huge right there, Danny Cannon got caught. Quick footwork by Alex Castle and gets him a two count. And as you said, these guys, Midwest competitors, making the right here to DCW. Um, the DCW staff seeing fit to bring this rivalry here and uh, the buzz that we're hearing and we're seeing right here is uh, to rival the Alex Shelley, Jimmy Jacobs feuds, the, the Colt Cabana CM Punk uh, guys that were, were friends but they were competitors but they were rivals and anywhere that they could go to showcase their talents they went and we're seeing that right here as Alex Castle gets ready to bring himself in the ring. But <laughs> Danny Whoa. Cannon moving out of the way and countering. There we go. One, two. Thought he had him there. And, and you mentioned uh, some of the great rivalries. You mentioned CM Punk. And uh, I think it turned out pretty well for him having that rivalry, having that heated rivalry, actually, with one of his best friends. Absolutely. Oh. Well, I don't know if they're going to be. I don't know if they're friends, but certainly, <laughs> well, it's going to be kind of it's hard to be a friend when you get hit in the face. Well, this is professional wrestling, and, and we are a strange lot, so you can't ever say you don't hit your friend in the face. That is true. You've hit me in the face. I did. I did just not too long ago. I threw your glasses across the, uh, across the gym here in Oil City. It was pretty brutal. Speaking of, we'd also like to thank not only the DCW staff, our referees, our, our well, ourselves as well. We'd like to thank uh, our interviewer, David Powers. We'd like to thank the fans. And without the fans, it's not possible. That's why you want to go on the Facebook, Absolutely you want right. to go on the website, and just check out as much DCW information as well. And Cannon just all over the place. And, oh, caught and straddled across the middle rope. And Alex Castle on the outside. What's he looking for here? Oh! I believe that would be called a knee to the face. Just a running strike right to the nose. And the fans not too happy with Alex Castle. They've, they really seem to take to these two newcomers early on here. Yeah, but definitely, BC. And, and they're both up here struggling for position, jockeying around. Danny Cannon firing back up on the top. Backflips out, rolls through. 
and handspring Pele kick takes Alex Castle down to the floor. And wow, one of the things you can say about Dynamite Danny Cannon as well is you never know what he's going to do. You see him doing a backflip. You know, do I duck? Do I jump? What do I do? And, well, wait a minute, what do we have here? Oh! My God, inside out. Uh, 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 Asai Moonsault, similar too. I mean, uh, I'm sorry that threw me off here. I'm not sure how to... Woo! I'm out of breath right now. I, t I told you, I was out of breath after the ring inductions, uh, introductions were over. But both of these guys back in the ring now, Danny Cannon going for the cover. And almost a three, but Alex Castle kicks out. Pushes the larger man back to the ropes. And lays in those kicks. You know, you'd have to think that whoever's uh, able to come out on top here would be very impressed. Uh, would very much impress DCW management. Oh, that, that handspring Pele kick again paid off for him twice. You'd have to wonder if uh, maybe a Niles Young would be watching this matchup, trying to scout. Uh, oh, I'm sure Niles Young, Adam Flash, keeping their eyes open. Oh! oh. And these guys just trading hard, hard strikes, following each other into the corner. Oh, that, I don't, that kick, I don't believe on purpose, but that kick may have caught him low. What's this here? Oh! Uh, was that a sleeper suplex? That was suplex? a sleeper suplex. I, I, I've never seen that before in my life. And these guys going at it hard and fast. Oh! Jumping cannonball. Into the corner. And two and a half says Bobby Williams, and he's got to be out of breath keeping up. You ain't kidding it. And Dynamite Danny Cannon, he, he, he keeps going. I mean, this kid is, I, I mean, would you, would you say that he's a, a prospect to watch in 2014? Well, I, th I think so. Uh, oh! oh. Knocked uh, something out. Hopefully it was gum and not his teeth. Well, oh, two and seven eighths. And that's about as close as you're going to get. Well, and Alex Castle obviously thought that was it. Oh, and look, and look at this. Bringing down the knee pad. But he gets caught, rolls up. Catches that kick to the face. Danny Cannon up, just jumps up to the top rope. <laughs> A spinning 360 splash, and that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Dynamite, Danny Cannon. Ladies and gentlemen, being accompanied by his manager, Dr. Feelbad, here is Jay Diesel! Is this thing on? Now, this is impressive. I'm proud. I'm proud of you hillbillies for one thing and one thing only. Let me talk. Hey, keep your teeth in your mouth before he knocks them out of your face. Sit down. Oh, oh look at this. Come on. 
please shut up. Your teeth are going to fall out on the ground. Settle down. I look around the crowd and I see from the last TV taping till now an increase of about two or three times the people that were here last time. And we know why that is. All of you, thank you. You have to admit it's because of Mr. J. Diesel right here. Come on. And now, if you'll be quiet, quiet, or we're going to hold up the show. Shut up! And let this man speak. I see a lot of these lumberjack LaRue fingers, t shirts, hats. Maybe you don't remember last time when I was here. I beat. Lumberjack LaRue. He got dropped to the challenge. Now there's an open challenge going out tonight. Maybe this guy for your belt that you bought at Toys R Us. Do you know what it's like to be an athlete? Would you like to get in the ring? Yeah. There's an open challenge to anybody in that locker room that wants to come out here and take it. That's better than any one of these oil city idiots. How many teeth do you got in that mouth? Do you have them in? She literally got no teeth. It's bad. So if there's anybody in there that got guts, why don't they come on out to the open challenge? Jay Diesel's challenge has been answered here on DCW TV, and I can't say that I recognize the music. I'm not exactly sure who's about to answer the challenge here. Oh boy, oh no, 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 no. Ladies and gentlemen, Joker! Um. Okay, BC, I'm, I'm really, really not comfortable with this at all. Uh, this Joker scares me to death. Well, that that makes two of us. Um, if let me to to put this analogy out there and see if you agree. Uh, if wrestling was the Hunger Games, I think Joker would have the odds ever in his favor. Uh, you know, I, I was excited when the Hunger Games came out. I thought it was a documentary about buffets, so I was excited, and I did go see it. And if there was ever a truer statement than what you just said. He doesn't need even need weapons. He he has a weapon in himself. He is. I don't I don't even know the term to use. He's just slightly off kilter to where you're not exactly sure what he's going to do. That's a good point. That is a very very good just point. Just completely unpredictable. And that's not going to uh, serve Jay Diesel well. You know. Ooh. Uh, with the power J. Diesel brings, there's not a lot of men that have been able to match up, but, uh, well, do you think Joker might be one of them? You know, we don't know a whole lot about Joker. He's, obviously, he, he wears face. He comes to the building like that. That okay, is true. Let's get that out of the way right now. You know, he's not standing back in the locker room. He, he's not painting his face up. No, 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 no. When he shows up at the building, his face is painted like that. I I don't know if he walks around in public like that. I don't know where he comes from like that. But that that's his face. That's what he looks like all the time. And Jay Diesel has been on a tear. Undefeated so far here in DCW. And like you said, not anybody yet able to match strength with Jay Diesel. But Joker is not... 
he's not like any other individual. And when you when you talk about strength, one of the other things that we do know about Joker is he has served in our military. Absolutely. He has been overseas. He has been in the thick of battle. And he's seen things that probably we can't even imagine. And when it when he, we I don't know who signed him. I wasn't privy to that either. I again, I don't know where he came from, but this is the information that they're feeding us right now. I, what I hate to not have information for our fans, but I just don't know what we can tell them. That's all we know. We, uh, I know Philadelphia, New Jersey-based uh, wrestling scene, but uh, outside of that, uh, I've never talked to the man. Uh, he, he's. Have you tried? Uh, no. Okay, no. I can un- I can understand that. I, I shouted to him once. He looked at me, and I ran away. That was pretty much the exchange. I understand. And look at this. He's asking for more. Jay Diesel punching him square in the jaw, and the Joker said, what else you got? I don't know about you, but I'd never have asked to be punched in the face. No. Oh, Oh. and that chop. Oh, if chops were money, Joker is certainly going to get his money's worth tonight. Uh, That is one thing. uh, When a man that has been through what Joker's been through, and a man that is a man the caliber of Joker, well, here we have a pinfall. You really don't want to be chopped, punched, or kicked by him. No, and, and, and one thing also that we're not used to seeing is the devious doctor, Dr. Feelbad, on the outside, very, very concerned about Jay Diesel right now. Well, you really can't blame him. This is something Dr. Feelbad hasn't seen. And and being a doctor, I'm sure he's seen a lot. But uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't believe he's that kind of doctor. Oh, good. Uh, I but, hope he's not that kind of doctor. So so he's the doctor with the Ph.D. then, uh, a doctor of, uh, you know, I'm a few classes away from my doctorate in uh, thugonomics, but be that as it may. Oh, uh, um, okay. <laughs> basic thugonomics? Uh, basic, yes, basic, okay. basic, basic. Okay. And here we have J.D. Diesel, and well, firing back with those elbow. Oh, and a knee strike. He's an excellent striker, is Joker. And both of these men just pummeling each other with fists, elbows, feet, knees, brute strength from corner to corner. And Joker will use anything he can find. So uh, if, if right, we haven't got that far yet. Yeah, th- so. thankfully. And and Joker really fighting that off there. Joker, I, I don't know if he scouted Jay Diesel. I, I well, that that I guess I could have asked him, but. <sighs> Oh, he's got him up this time, and oh, into the bucket! Oh, well, if he scouted that, uh, Jay Diesel was still able to get it. Joker fought it off. Here's a pinfall. No, uh, out. two says referee Bobby Williams. Uh, well, certainly Jay Diesel wasn't very happy about that. Uh, Doctor Feelbad not very happy about that. Well, he, he's definitely got to be concerned. Last night, this has been a huge test for him, and. Honestly, the, the first opponent he's had here that's got him a little bit rattled. Oh! He's, he's certainly going to be a lot more rattled after that. Now, what do you say after we try and get Joker to, to uh, show some of those chops? We could use you. We could get a DCW exclusive. And, well, wait a minute. We have a, no, I thought we were going to have a roll-up. What's this? Oh! That wasn't quite a roll-up. That was a kick to the face. And Joker says, that's it. What's he looking for here? Oh! Right on the head. And Dr. Feelbad up on the ring apron. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, I think we can agree that would have been it. I, I, I think it I oh. think it would have had a been. And the I hope, doctor is caught. I hope Feelbad has on dark pants. Well, I don't know how dark they are, but... And, and well, he's got to... And did, did feel bad just faint? Well, well, maybe not, but that might be it anyway. Oh, and again! Oh, ah! 
Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner, Joker! And BC, what a debut for the, the mysterious and violent Joker defeating the up till now undefeated JD. So even with the interference of Dr. Feelbad and the fans are going nuts for him. Well, and I think he's liking it. I, I agree. He took he's got the fans behind him. He took out uh, he took out Dr. Feelbad. He took out Jay Diesel. And well the, the doctor may need a doctor. Oh Joker might not be done. Well lucky for lucky for Dr. Feelbad, one of our young fans here wanted to say a word to uh, to the Joker and that stopped him. Uh, Dr. Feelbad was about to get it again and <laughs> Nobody happy in the feel bad camp right now. And I'll tell you, Dr. Feelbad owes Lynn, that kid Lynn, a lot. Lynn, look at this. <laughs> the kids love Joker. I I don't I don't get it. I'm 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 gonna have to get one of the kids to go talk to him maybe. I'm still terrified. Well, I gotta go. Gentlemen, that is it for BC Steel, for David Powers, for everyone here at Dork Horse Championship Wrestling. This is Darren the Dish Davenport, and we'll see you at ringside.